All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So I did a video not too long ago, maybe several weeks ago, but depending on when you're watching this video, maybe it's a few years ago. But I did a video entitled Why You Must Forgive Your Parents. Of course, I will link that down below and up here at some point. Today, we will be talking about how to forgive your parents. All right, let's talk about it in a moment. All right, so I have 10 ways on how you can forgive your parents. The very first one is to resolve the resentment so you can stop focusing on the bad parts of your parents. You have to literally get rid of all of that stuff. You got to let it go. You got to let all of that stuff go. Because if you continue to focus on the bad, guess what? You're going to continue to focus on the negative. You're going to continue to bring all of that negativity in with you whenever you speak to them on the phone, whenever you're face to face with them. So you got to just let all that stuff go. Resolve all of that stuff. Resolve your resentment towards your parents. Point number two, because you're getting rid of the bad and you're stopped focusing on the negative. Point number two, you want to focus on the positive about your parents because all of us have something that's positive about us. And just like I tell you in your romantic relationship, you want to focus on the positive about what your spouse does. In this case, you want to focus on the positive of what your parent or parents have done for you, what they did for you. Focus on the positive, even if it's one damn thing. That's one thing that you can focus on versus zero. So focus on the positive about your parents and what they did for you. Did they make sure you ate? Did they make sure you was clothed? Focus on the positive because you're getting rid of that negativity because you're resolving your resentment and you're not focusing on the bad. So you're focusing on the good. What did they do right? There's something that your parent or parents did right. It's something that they did that you can focus on. Number three, I want you to start developing realistic expectations about your parents, meaning we think that our parents are actually perfect. Because they are parents, we think that they're not supposed to make mistakes because they are parents. We think that they have all the answers because they are parents. But truth be told, there is no life handbook on how to raise children. And what I keep hearing, I only have one child, so I don't know this to be 100% true. But what I keep hearing is when you have multiple children, at least two, what you did for one child don't necessarily work for the other child. So as much as your parents was trying to be the perfect one, maybe maybe they were the perfect parent for one of you guys. But for you, the person who's listening to this, maybe they weren't the perfect parent for you. But you have to get rid of the, those um, unrealistic expectations about your parents and be realistic. Because maybe you are a parent or maybe your day is about to come. You're about to become a parent. And you'll have to deal with some of this stuff too. And you'll have some guilt. And you'll be resentful of the things that you were not able to provide for your family. Whether it's money. Whether it's time. Whether it's the best of. There'll be some guilt. There'll be some resentment. So you have to be more realistic with your own parents. Number four. Number four. Foster true separation, which actually means to stop seeing yourself as the child, to stop being stuck when whatever happened that wasn't so good with your parents. Whatever age that thing that happened to you, you got to let that go. Because you're staying stuck and every time something doesn't go your way, every time you get pissed off at your parents, you revert back to that child. And so maybe things didn't go right when you were five, but now you're 40. But every time you get mad at your parents, you revert back to the five-year-old child. It's because you're stuck there. Because you have not fostered true separation. You don't have to look to your parents for your emotional well-being because you're actually an adult now. 
and you can do things the way that you want to do things. And so you can actually stop being the victim and start to shape your own reality, start to shape the life that you want to live. So you can stop being the victim, stop being the child, stop depending on your parents emotionally because you don't have to any longer. The fifth way to forgive your parents is actually to really let down that guard around your heart and let your parents back into your heart. Because again, there is no handbook. There's not. But in order to move your life forward, because you really want to build that relationship with your parent or parents or even your guardians, you want to build that relationship. The only way that you can do that is to let down your guard again and open up your heart and let them back in. I get it. It can be a slow thing. I'm not saying go, you know, go tomorrow and just say, you know what? Take my heart and do what you will with it. No, but just slowly but surely let down that brick wall because they deserve it. They do. They actually did the best that they could do with the information, with the tools that they had, which is why you live the life that you live. That was the best they could do. That's why you grew up the way that you grew up, because that was the best that your parent or parents could do for you. Which leads me to the next point, which is you have to remember that your parent or parents actually they brought their own baggage into their relationship and they brought their own struggles from their from their own parents. And so the way that they brought you up is more than likely a product of the way that they were also brought up. And maybe they didn't know how to break the chain or chains. And so now is your time to break the chain or chains to stop that cycle. You can stop the cycle. Your parents weren't able to for whatever reason. But now you have the power to break the cycle. But you have to remember they were also a product. I have to repeat this. They also a product of their own parents. And so the way they brought you up. More than likely they took something. Even if they didn't take everything. They took something. That thing that you feel was the worst thing that ever happened. That thing more than likely came from. And was passed down to them. From their own parents. Have you ever thought about that? Number seven. Realize that it is going to be a journey. So a moment ago I actually talked about. Taking the, the bricks down. From around your heart. This is a part of that journey. That slowly but surely taking brick down by brick down by brick down by brick down is a journey. Because the age that you are at now, it took you many, many, many years. Of course, depending on how old you are. But it took you years to build that wall, that brick wall up around your heart to even have to forgive your parents. So it's going to take you years to knock it down. But you have to realize and be aware of what's actually happening. So commit to the journey because it's going to be a journey because it's also going to be a trust thing because they broke the trust and now they have to rebuild the trust. And I get it. Some parents are never going to earn their way back into your heart. I get that. But there is hope out there for so many other parents that really just couldn't get it together for whatever reason. And now they're older, you're older, you guys can actually have a conversation about it, which leads me to point number eight, which is to have a conversation. If you can, maybe you working on you, your parents never worked on themselves, so maybe they're not ready for this conversation. And I get that. But you still got to forgive them no matter what. Because as I talk about my God, he still say, honor your mother and your father, no matter what. He didn't put no conditions on. He didn't put, God didn't put no conditions on if they didn't do this, if they didn't do that. He just say, honor your mother and your father. I know it's a tough pill to swallow. It's not something that you want to think about or that you feel that you have to take on the burden. I get that. But just like you have to forgive your parents, trust me. Somebody else has to forgive you and you have to forgive some other people as well. 
Your parents deserve to be forgiven no matter what. Because literally, what you're going to be doing when you forgive them, you're going to be releasing the chains. You're going to be releasing the chains for you so you can move forward in all of your relationships. And all of your relationships can be healthy. Even if for some reason it doesn't become healthy, a, 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 a healthy relationship with your parents, even for some reason if it doesn't become healthy, you'll be able to have a healthy relationship with somebody else. And God forbid if for something happened where you were never never able to have a conversation with your parents because they passed away. Maybe you got maybe you're just too old now, meaning that you're the older person now and your parents have now passed on to the to the next life. You still got to forgive them so you can release all of that. Release all of that pent up energy, all that pent up anger, all that pent up bitterness, all that pent up resentment. You got to get rid of all of that. Cuz you are holding yourself back from having a healthy relationship with your partner and with everybody else around you. Because only you know about your pain and suffering. Nobody else knows about it. Number eight brings me into the point that I was just talking about, which is especially if your parents have actually passed away where you can't have a conversation with them. What you can do still to forgive them is to write this stuff down so you can get it out. This is a way, this is a way to release all of that pent up anger, all of that pent up, you know, anxiety and resentment, all of that stuff that you just holding on and carrying with you. You can get rid of it by writing it down. You can get rid of it by reading this out loud. But you need a way to release Find a way to release all of this anxiety and all of this anger and the resentment and everything that you have pent up because of your parents. So you can move on. So you can move on. It's not because they deserve it. It's because you deserve it. Number 10 is to be grateful. Yes, be grateful for the blueprints that they left behind of the things that you do not want to carry on into your next relationship or the relationship with your children and even the relationship with your siblings. Be grateful that they showed you all the things that you do not want to do. There's a lesson in everything. There is a lesson in everything. You can use something out of your bad situations and you can turn it into something positive for sure. They've given you the blueprint. It wasn't the blueprint that you wanted, but now you know the blueprint and to not use those things that they showed to you. So fam, what you going to do about it? You going to actually forgive your parent, parents or guardian? You going to keep holding on to that anger and resentment? Being pissed off. You going to keep stopping you from having a blessed life because you hold on to resentment and you cannot forgive your parents. They deserve it. Doesn't matter. I didn't say it was going to be easy, but it's absolutely going to be worth it once you forgive them, no matter what. Because as I mentioned before, God said to honor thy mother and thy father because you also want to be honored. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.